is not ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Okay, we're almost at Bear's coordinates. Welcome to Azura. time you slept last night got a good eight or nine minutes in nightmares does it get better it gets tolerable as it is. What Jin doesn't know won't hurt her. This is my call, all right? If the First Minister doesn't like it, she can yell at me. Which she almost certainly will. Tell us where to go, Control. I'll do my best. But remember, no one's been in that facility for like 25 years. Yeah, that's pretty evident. Get out there to buy a timeshare. Get in and launch an old Hammer of Dawn prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. Just get Dave to a functional control room. He'll handle the launch sequence. Burial site in the silo. We're hatched. We're gonna be waist deep in swarm. Uh, this is one hell of a way to come back to Azura. Yeah, but we get those satellites up. Hey, hey get back! Oh shit! What the hell? Uh, I need to search a place that's falling apart. Quickly. Come on, we can use the ledge. Bear's plan to launch a satellite from here? It seems a little... half-baked. Well, half-baked plans are kind of Baird's specialty. How Baird even figured out they had a hammer satellite here? My father? Before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, it has plenty of them. Hey, fetch! <laughs> Didn't expect there'd still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off as a
Gotta cut through. Okay, let's go. Get back! We're coming down! Guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. Alright, let's take him out! Get in the cover! For now, Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't ripped them all apart. Hey, I think we can get down this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Shit, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, these headaches. I'm okay, all right? Let's just find a silo. For the record. You don't seem okay. I'll live. There's too many active hives. Everywhere we go, another burial site's hatched. All the more reason to get the hell out of the line. Let's hope Jin sees it that way. <laughs> satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. So, straight's not an option. How much rocket base is even left? Let's find out. You guys go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? Hatch! 
Jump down. This looks like some kind of an exhaust tunnel. But is it from a silo? Only one way to find out. Sluice gate's our way out. Dave, can you get this open? Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave. See? Dave gets it. Going down! So much for a silo. Yeah, under here. Oh, man, we got company. James, we're above you. I see you. We can provide support from up here if things get airy. Just tell us who to target.
two push ahead. Copy that. Watch it, swarm! Oh shit, carrier! Crew, we can use those reinforcements right about now! The Condor's almost within range, Delta. Okay, kid, reinforcements incoming. I've got Guardians or DR-1s. What do you want? Look out, Guardian! You got it! down. Thanks for the help. Thebes, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledged. something here.
shit! Sion! DB, take it out! data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> nice one, Dave. Let's look around. Safe. Good place for secret data. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. This way. Nope, dead end. I now. Oh shit, they weren't hit. Man, we leave you guys alone for five minutes. Yeah, it's goddamn hilarious. yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Error. Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. 
Bug out. Blastors aren't gonna protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No, we get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You gotta get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Well, let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. Let's find our way up. <laughs> hey, over that platform. Ignition. Engine two. That's not good. for extraction.
all of you. <laughs> Roger that, Control. Come on, time to face the music. How about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? What? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking me. Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah. Uh, What's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh-huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy. Installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Oh, 
Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, Dan. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. Jack, flash! All right, finish it. Test sequence complete. Huh, that could be useful. Now, let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power for Cooley's flash. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Commencing reload. Damn it, Jack's not ready! Ugh. Reload initiated. Flash! Nice work. Feel free to wrap again if you want. Test sequence complete. No offense, JD, but, uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you. For both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your thing. Come on! Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man, let's just grab a jack opponent and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle spar with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming. But explain. Shit, false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? Gotta tell you, that cheap shot? Mm. Chef's kiss, buddy. Chef's kiss. Ah, there's the component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. I say, I'm loving the new Jack. Can't wait to test him out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. 
We still have to go to Jin's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. <laughs> Never could get used to the feel of you in those things. Enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. perfectly clear when it comes to this weapon I don't share your optimism it's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism yes well I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that for both our sakes Anya would have wanted you, you to don't get to talk about her if that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the Allfathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah. That'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack! We need immediate help! Please, slow down. Send reinforcements! No! Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it! Go!
here! Shit! We gotta get him too! Better keep some skinny shit off of him! Damn, Julie! Man, I hate these things! Advise, Corporal. They're faster than they look. Delta out. Evac convoy. Yeah. Lizzie's from the speed of it. The best driver we got. Rob moves. Yeah, she knows it. Come on, let's cut through this building. Everybody, stay back! They're coming in! Hey! Stand down, Private! We're gears! Oh, shit, sorry, Lieutenant. No harm, no foul. What are you doing here? I uh, lost our DBs and we've got civilians holed up in here. Lizzie, Delta requesting civilian pickup. Sector 8, apartment complex. Copy that, Delta. I'll circle back. Thanks for that, Lieutenant. No problem, Private. Come on, Delta. Sorry again for the air and fire, Lieutenant. I'm glad you showed up when you did, sir. You guys here to pick us up? We're not, but the convoy's on the way. Careful out there, sir. Boko. Let's go, Delta. Control. I took care of it. DBs, we gotta secure this straight. Lizzie! Oh, man, sister! You are crazy! What can we do to help? 
Just clear this street, Delta. Otherwise, we're stuck here. All right, you heard her. Let's get to work. Rain up. Order will be restored. Fair, we're assisting a stalled convoy. We might need reinforcements here. Roger that, Delta. Diverting a condor your way now. Phoenix, for the last goddamn time, I'm the ranking officer, which means I call in the reinforcements. Yes, sir. I, I will fix it. So, you will be set. Drag out! <laughs> Transgression <laughs> against the con will be punished. So, this is the swarm, huh? Sniper, take him out! JD, your condor is close. What do you need? Lieutenant Jutani requests Guardians. Oh, do I then? On the way! Excited. Guardians, secure this screen! We will now have your lead, Lieutenant. We can't load civvies onto these trucks if there's no trucks left. Scouting round up those civvies you found. Delta, Carmine squad just got overrun. They're hunkered down with civilians inside the tower. They're not gonna last if you don't get there soon. They need you at the hub. 
Go! You can get there through the park. Gates by the steps. All right, you heard her. Let's move. Come on, through here. You might not have a problem with shooting innocent people, but I do. Innocent, huh? Innocent! So people frame firebombs are innocent? Hm. Good to know. Both of you, knock it off. Wade, I heard about this. That was you three? Not three. One of us managed to keep his DBs under control. What the hell happened? We identified an insurgent element and eliminated it. No, you opened fire on a protest. Every herd needs a good culling. I know who I call from this herd. Happened, happened. Right now, we focus on completing this evacuation. Goddamn right. There's the hub. Dead ahead. Shit, Carmine is definitely in trouble. Damn it, Swarm's taking down our condors, too. Yeah, I bet that goddamn Swarm might brought it down. Every condor we lose means fewer reinforcements. Makes its way to the hub. Carmine's problem's gonna get a lot worse. Come on. Hey, Juvie! Take him out! I've got one thing to say! These type of things got to go! Like Carmine's DB still got some fight in him. Let's go. All right, looks like Carmine's holed up in that tower with the civilian. Let's show these DBs how it's done. Clear the plaza. They've taken the turret. Seriously? <laughs> 
That's it. Carmine, boss is clear. Thanks, Delta, but you got more damn bogeys incoming. Hey, our supply drop is still out there, so put Baird's new Lancers to good use. Wilco, you keep those civilians safe. We'll handle things out here. Uh oh, what do we got? Oh, Lancer grenade launchers? Where the hell does Baird find the time? Here, get them while they're hot. We'll make this work. Here they come! All right, Delta, let's light them up!
Continue the evac. Copy that, Delta. We're coming out. All right, evacuees, listen up. Double time it to the Minotaurs. No personal items, no luggage. What? Death? No personal items. Carmine. Man, you kept a lot of people alive today, Sarge. Ha <laughs> ha! The grub killer retires, baby! Grub killer, swarm killer, whatever. Yeah, rescued by my old trainees. Uncle Clay! 
Yeah, and now I gotta get up again. Was getting worried. You didn't report back. Radio died. And these guys pulled me out of a jam. Guess I owe you twice, Phoenix. Now what? in the way. Find a way around. Through here! Cardio kit. Hang on. That has stim tech. All right, with that upgrade, Jack and Stimmer away through that fire. Stim time. Logging unknown enemy type. Securing area. Ah! Concentrate fire. Shut down our box? There's no way we can hold this settlement. JD, Dell, Marcus and I had to bug out at the wall. Swarms everywhere. We can't raise control. Ugh, something's messing with our comms. Did you read, Kate? We got separated from Cole, Foss, and Carmine. Then we gotta regroup. Meet us at the theater. Welcome. We'll see you there. JD, come on. Let's cut through the hotel.
Okay, there. Through the loading dock. Come on, in here. Yo, Jack, give us some light. Oh, shit. We're losing a lot of gears. Phoenix, I made it back to my convoy. Gonna try to get these people out of here. Copy that, Lizzie. Good luck. Hold up. doesn't just shut DBs down, it turns them. What the hell, man? This 
Okay, they're done. I've seen enough of this whole movie. We gotta get to that theater. No argument here. Come on. Going in there, Dell. Get ready. Man, I can't believe this turned to shit so fast. Hey, cold, fast, my mind. You think they're okay? I hope so. Let's get to Caden, Dad. Then we can worry about the others. This way. Shit, shit, shit! It's the bear! What the fuck is that? Give this shit, just kill him! They're, they're leeches, man!
Copy, Dad. Loud and clear. Heads up. That flock thing's made up of leeches. Yeah, we know. They're messing with our comms somehow, but Baird's got a squad cleaning them off the radio towers. We're at the theater. Are you close? Down the street. We're on our way to you. Del, we're leaving. Now control drop them now! I don't think they got the memo about the pump. Thanks, right, control. Shit! Well, let's just help them clear the street! Sergeant, pull up your pushing back! Appreciate it, sir! DBs, come on! Clear the street! Operator, right, Lieutenant! Flash! You will be Up and get him to safety. It's Baird, if anyone calls for reinforcements, don't do it. Roger that, but there's a lot already out there. Understood, Control. We'll keep an eye out. No one back here. Let's check the stage. Let's go. Damn it. Nothing. The people were here. Where'd they all go? Maybe they got out. Let's get that curtain open. Come on! Ah. God damn it, here they come! 
Let's just get out of here. Find the others. Hey, think we can exit stage right. Shit! Baird. Theater evacuees didn't make it. Cole, Foz, the Carmines? What's their status? Lizzie made it back to her convoy, but she keeps getting rerouted. Clay found a Raven out, but I can't reach Cole or Foz. You heard from them? No, not yet. But we'll keep looking. Control, it's Delta. You're breaking up. We're at the theater. Say again? You gotta get out of there, kid. They're letting the sediment go. Wait, can't we use the Hammer of Dawn? Not when I can't target the damn thing. Just fall back to the main gate. Baird, we're stuck on the other side of town. Phoenix, Lizzie here. You're at the theater? Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Delta out. In here, come on. Whoa, 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 what's this? We, uh, brought company.
Ross O'Dell. See any friendly faces you recognize? Maybe that's the uh, peaceful protester who broke my nose. You deserve worse than a broken nose. Why don't you show me what I deserve? Stop! Yeah, enough of this shit! You're a goddamn coward! A coward? Wow. Well, have I got news for you? Bars. Don't. Guess who ordered the first shot, Del? Directly into those peaceful protesters of yours. Yeah, that's right. Lieutenant Pedigree there. Guys, come on, guys. I, look, I, I mean, they were throwing incendiary... The whole thing was confusing, all right? I, I, I didn't mean to have it happen. Never mind. Gallery's here! Look, we can discuss this later. Come on.
Kate! Should we bring him along? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, come on. So what's your issue with Jack anyway? Besides spending half my life hiding from Cogbots? No issue. See, I told you it's not you. <laughs> That's lovely. It's your headache again, isn't it? No. I'm fine. He's not gonna listen to you. How about you let him decide that? Hey, it's her. Your funeral. <laughs> Can't come here with cog weapons. Hand them over. You know who my father was, right? Who my mother was? And yet, you're the one in cog armor. Go figure. Man, we're not giving you shit. Just... Do what they say. Fine. You can pick these up on the way out. I'm through! He's out back by the steam farm. Try not to cause any trouble. That's up to him. You know, we've convinced a lot of outsiders to come over to the cock and fight, but I got a feeling this nut's gonna be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I have the same feeling. Fresh fish, yeah. And I'm really happy to be here. Hey, wow, it's the cog. Welcome. Now get the hell out. Come on, Boyd. I can't stand up. It's got worms. Stinks almost as bad as you. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? The problem is there's nothing left out there. Everything within 20 miles. It's all stripped. Plenty of places left to see out there. Like that old line up in the mountains. I said within 20 miles. That line's way out. believe that Marcus Baird and Cole were the ones who killed this rift worm from the inside with their chainsaws actually I can't believe it Cobb chiefs through these doors down by the steam farm
Okay, go on in. You and your bot are here. Where's your friend? down the hill. Can't miss it. Free energy, they say. Ah! Shit! You okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Nobody get close! Steam will burn your skin clean off! Apparently these things in electric shocks don't miss. Now I'm gonna fix it. Jack, mm -hmm. see if you can do something about that steam vent. Thanks. Could have fixed that myself, you know. Probably. Hey, for the record, hey, doesn't need a friend. Over here. Ha ha. Get inside. Why? Is being a fashion bag? Yeah, well, we'll see how poetic or just you find it when a bunch of leech DBs start marching through town. Their problems are our problems. What? You want to join them? No. Hey, it's Chuz, like and and not Chuz. How you doing, boy? You're looking good. To be alone. Yeah, I know, right? Look over here, little Chuz. But maybe I do deserve to be alone. Oh shit! God damn it, fucking Lena! Bitch leaves with our single most valuable piece of tech. She had her reasons. Freddy and Norsco too. The hell with their reasons. They totally screwed us. I can't lie. To you. Steam farm. Okay. So they got this whole place running on geothermal? Huh, looks that way. Makes sense, but that's a lot of drilling. Guessing the giant worm did most of the work there. Oh, there we go. My good girls. So pretty out in the sun. Daddy's here. Don't you worry. Daddy's got you, my sweet loves. Looking for the chief. Old guy, smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. Never imagined they'd send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. Yeah, he's supposed to keep him away. How's that working out for you? Nah, not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. 
You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle. My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back to bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. Uncle, we're gonna need more ammo than this. Grab what you can find. Until then, use knives, fists, Hunters. anything you got! <laughs> they breached the lower wall! Help me clear them out! Attacking! Zane! <laughs> Clear this entire village. It's coming! It's coming! Zion! anymore. Oscar, you gotta come with us, man. Your people don't deserve this. <sighs> They're clawing at the door. Grab that shock trap. Got okay, an idea. Done. Trap the ground by the door. And I'll let them in. It's opening fire! 
What the fuck is that? No, goddammit! Oh shit! Get out! We gotta stop! Destroy us before it kills anyone else! Give this generator a jolt. Jack, shock track. Thanks, Jack. Let's go! Earth, we're here! What do you need? They got a group box in, Chief! By the workshop! Come on! We gotta back them up!
We're here. What do you need? We have a silverback, but the only one who can drive it got dragged off. Thank <laughs> you. 
feel them. Use them. Thanks, J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No! No! <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? us now. 
So what's in here anyway? A fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. So you can drive? More or less. Here we go. Mark has just pushed Jack the coordinates for some facility up north. New Hope. New Hope? Sounds pleasant. All right. We should head out. It's a long ride from here. Hey, Del. Hey, what? I'm glad you're here. Me too. Let's, um, get around and find a way to open this thing. Look, JD kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He didn't. Yeah. Right. There. Is that New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are to the northeast. Doesn't look far. Just gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing JD pal around with Fox. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Something up ahead. Armory. Guess we help ourselves. Jack, keep the door open. Check it out. Jack just found a map of the area. Go. 
Jack, do the honors. done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey, let's make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. New Hope, here we come. I keep wondering about something. JD in Settlement 2. You think Mark is new? What he did, you mean? Yeah. I think he knew. You saw how he reacted. I did. And it... Well, explains a lot, actually. Kids, you read? Marcus, you back in New Affair yet? Just landed. Are you close to New Hope? Almost. Question, how will we know when we're there? Officially, New Hope never existed. It was disguised as Jameson Shipping Depot. So look for tracks and follow. Tracks, got it. Hey! The rail train! Kate, the coordinates are beyond that break. We're gonna have to park this thing. This is it? You're sure? I mean, yeah. Should be right in those woods. Hold up. That's an outsider camp. This far north? You think they're from Oscar's village? Maybe. Huh. I wonder where they went. They were from Uncle's village. Lena and Norsko. This journal says their new camp got wiped out, so they ran here. And got attacked again. We should try to find them. Tell them about Uncle. Del, down here. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known. And they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Del. Storm's getting closer. Oh. Great. There we go. Another cog seal. We're in the right place. <gasps> Through here. You went off your own. Off on your own. You care about any of us. About them. <laughs> Who could trust you now? Let's find a way out of here. Outsiders, cog, swarm. We're the only ones who haven't been here. Got something up ahead! Let's check it out! 
Well, this is the place, but the entrance is blocked. Let's find a way around. This way! now. Main building, I think. Alright, you're looking for a biogenetics lab. The entrance is a long hallway with a circular door at the end of it. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. is in rough shape. There might be a way around. <sighs> Bathroom. Check the other one. Found your hallway and your circular door. Looks like somebody blew it up. Oh, right. That was me, actually. I forgot about that. So what now? Okay, look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis tanks. That's how you'll know you found it. Stasis tanks. Got it. All right, you heard Marcus. We find another way in. Wait, what is that? Oh, no. We, uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden! I'll help you out! 
What's the goddamn warden doing here? A warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh, shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. Let's see where this leads. It leads absolutely nowhere. Jack, save. <laughs> Open. Come on, let's get back into the main building. Oh, shit! Dell! Jubies! Let's take him out! Find our way back there. Found something. Help me lift it. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Okay, those are definitely not stasis decks. But what the hell are they? Not good. I can tell you that.
We're clear. But watch it. More gas leaks down here. Almost like someone wants to keep us out. through this gas. Okay, get the other side. Stasis tanks are back. We're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Sampson, the scientist who ran that place, was using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. He imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you heard there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI contract. Find the lab. Find Niles. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. Eventually. Stuff like this is why I never trusted the cog. Not even when my wife was running.
Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation room. They were watching this kid. Exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it has something to do with you. <laughs> Stasis tanks. Marcus! We found the lab. Good. But you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's in it? The early and angry fruits of Nile's labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little... moody. Moody. Great. Just find Niles. He should be close. You know, I'm beginning to think Niles wasn't a nice guy. Come on. I think I'm ready to meet this Niles creep. Got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then... What does all this have to do with me? That didn't work. What? You, 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 you. gonna get some weird virus plugged into the sink? I don't know. Just hose him down when you're done. Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack!
have data on that weirdo. <coughs> we'll check back at the stiff. Come on, cross the key! We got incoming! Let's get to the other side! what I said earlier. New Hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Or ever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Hey kids, you out of there? Yeah. Did Baird get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope, Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. The problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay then. We track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers it passed through. Head out and see if you can find any towers to start the trail back. Okay, will do. So, these comm towers, where do we find them? We'll need higher ground. I say we make our way east. Light the way. Military trains. Hmm. The only operation around here would have been Howard Storm. When they attacked the locusts on the ground. And these train cars might have useful stuff in them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Carry us down. Holy shit. And don't the self? Dark tunnels? Maybe not such a good idea. Let's see what's in that train car. Could make this worthwhile. Found a cog engineer's old notes. Something about grind lift cooling systems? Oh, yeah. They launched those grind lifts from assault derricks near here. You know, if we found some of that cooling tech, we could probably wire it to Jack. Add a freeze effect to his flash. I'll leave that to you. Well, this tunnel's tapped out. And let's get back out to the skiff. Del, you can get out here. I'll boost you. <laughs> Yeah, I say I'm ready to get the hell out of this valley. Let's move it. Damn gates are we gonna find out here? Jack, see what you can do. Technology. Or it got exactly enough credit. Come on. Okay. I'm taking this. I'm gonna check up here. Shit! Shit! Snipers on top! We clear them out. Then we deal with the gate.
Okay, we got them all. Now let's deal with this cake situation. So, what do you think we're gonna find on the other side of this thing? Hopefully, the truth. Walking to those con towers? I'm gonna say no. Hard pass. One thing I keep asking myself, why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? Or the guilt? Jen got him, made us seem like the bad guys, and promoted him to captain, which, what happened? I just never imagined JD was so cock. Well, he is Anya Strauss' son, remember? And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give anyone issues. Come on, in we go. Think we got a clear path to that tower? Let's find out. And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it, just like the last one. Marcus, we spotted a comm tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? That's bad, huh? Be careful. Control out. Look out! Come on, this way! Keep moving! We're gonna die up here! Bell, come on! 
us all of them! Into the cave! Hurry! Question. What the hell is the swarm doing up here in the mountains? You heard Marcus. Kadar was Locust HQ. Maybe they're drawn here somehow. All right, let's look around. Find a way out of here. Del, up we go. Come on, we gotta be close now. Hey, what this tower's a bust? I came here for answers. I'm not going home until I get some. Down we go. Shit! Huh. 
me open this goddamn thing. Hey, watch it, watch it, watch it. Her necklace. That's a locust symbol. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. And if you have a choice, that's the best. She chooses that. I get that. Then you know what to do, right? Right? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me. Yeah, I... I just want to find that damn Kadar lab. Right. Well, he's got to access data from the command. You ready? Figures. Console's not working. Huh. There is power in here. There could be a blown fuse or something. Just need to access the circuit panel. Check, see if that vent gets us anywhere. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. Transmission data before it locks us out. So, we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope? Yep, that's it. Get in there, Jack. Come on, Jack. Hook it to the console. Let's get this done. Transmission data. Not a match. Come on, Jack. Look into the console. Let's get this done. Let's get the transmission data. Come on, Jack. Book it to the console. Let's get this done. Transmission data. Come 
Come on, Jack. Welcome to the console. Let's get this done. Another bust. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So can we use that data to find the lab? Mm, not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. security for a calm tower, isn't it? I don't know. You keep asking me like I work here. That's one tower down. Yep. So time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. Skip in. Freezing my ass off. So, I have a question. Oz, has he always been like that? Always. Gotta be the toughest. Gotta be the fastest. Gotta be the strongest. But not the smartest? <laughs> In that area? In that area alone? Oz has got a realistic view of himself. Guess we're sliding down. <laughs> Thinking about Niles. Those experiments. Hey, do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even Anya. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? Who do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Get moving. Marcus, you know anything about a condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. Uh, wreckage is pretty spread out. A lot of area to search. Block! <laughs> block! No, two blocks! Why do you think I said it twice? Oh shit! Reject pouring out of that condor! Spread out! Give her multiple targets! Got you! 
Jack, fetch! God damn, there's a lot of them! Sweet! anymore. Pit stop. Let's get searching. You know what the flock around. Every time a condor goes down, it turns into a goddamn reject. Yeah, well, I never liked DBs much the other way either. Alright. I think we established everything. Come on then. Back to the skiff. You know, as ice cliffs of death go, this one's got a nice view at least. Whatever floats your boat, my friend. Come on, up here. So, back on the trail? Unless something else comes up, which it always does. Hey, cargo 
assault derricks beyond those trees. Okay, let's hit this place up. Could be cooling tech in here. You're the expert. Let's head up here. Come on. Figures. They're all over the place. Let's try to get the drop on. Some kind of part, which I'm gonna guess just made your day. Nice, that's a grind lift cooling system part. Remember those engineering notes? We find more of this tech, we can upgrade Jack. Jack's excited. Kate, did you feel it? <sighs> she feels it, I can tell. All right, grab anything else you need before we head back to the skiff. You coming? I'll 
Uncle fought in Hollow Storm. Said these Derricks launched you underground like a missile. According to him, there were some lost lunches involved. Anyway. All right, one more piece of cooling tech. Jack will be good to go. Well, maybe some of us like Jack just the way he is. Hey, now. Don't stand in the way of Jack's personal growth. <laughs> Got a grind lift here. Shit! Swarm! Yeah, like clockwork! Hold him off! Let's see what's in this grind lift.
Hey, get excited. It's more cooling tech. Yo, Jack, your flash just got a whole lot cold. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm excited, too. All right, grab anything else you need before we head back to the skiff. <clears throat> out of here. So, we're eventually gonna find this lab, right? Nothing wrong with the scenic route. At least when you're finding good stuff along the way. Feeling lucky? Oh, sure. We're on a roll now. All right. Rest of the wreck must be through here. Dell, unopened drop pods. Why did it attack us? It's not corrupted. It must have lost connection to the man. Just to see us is calm. There, more TV! Hey, at least they're not rejects! Look out! We got crackers too! Search this thing.
our rum pretty good. Search this damn wreck. Jack, get right. this safe open, please. Huh? This looks elaborate. Any idea what it is? Yeah, some kind of signal app. Jack can use that. It's got a bipolar junction transistor. If only they all did, right? <laughs> See, you think you're being funny. But Jack Stim just got a serious boost. It'll make us strong. Really strong. You know what I keep thinking about? That first day we walked into your village. I thought my mom was going to kill you both. <laughs> you were the first person there to accept us. I always appreciated that. Well, I was starving for new faces. Hard to believe all that led us to this. And there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. to the tower and grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate its location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Mount Kadar. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. Dell, substation. Wanna check it out? Yeah, you should. Look, by the door. There's a note. Those outsiders were attacked here, too. According to this, Norsko got potted, so Nina locked him inside. Damn. From bad to worse, huh? She says she headed to a radio tower southeast of here. We have to find her. It can't get any colder. I know. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other tower. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Okay, question for you before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean, why does she even have that after? 
I've been thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up rough, but where she came from, that's a mystery. Obviously, she was hiding something. But what? And why? Well, I hope we can find some answers. Yeah, me too. Shit, get behind something. Swarm ahead. Okay, we got a bunch of swarm on thin ice. You think I'm gonna think of it? these things up here than I was expecting. At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. Let's just get to the tower. I'll take that. Come on, I'll give you a boost. <laughs> Distracted. Look what I found. Oh, another condor. All right, let's give it a search. <sighs> Got a safe for you, Jack. I guess that's it. Come on, we should clear out of here. Huh. I was expecting more DBs in here than this. Maybe it wasn't a full flight. That or they wandered off. Almost at the tower. Come on. I think we just found that Condor's payload. Clear him out. And we got a Bastion, too! to me.
Captain! here in the middle of nowhere. Nothing good. All right. Time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I read down. Rejects. Damn DB was that Condor carry? One problem at a time. leaving after we get the data we need. Just gotta find a transmission that matches the other signals we found.
There, got another signal match. That's gotta be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You wanna tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. Jack, pop this lock. <laughs> What the hell's this? Someone's workshop? Got something here. A spectral scrambler. Oh, I got an idea for Jack. Check it. Jack's cloak can now make us invisible, too. Invisible, huh? We might want to try it here. Jack, cloak! Yeah, let's go. Alright, that's one problem behind us. And we got a new tip. Come on, then. Back to the skiff. Invisible somehow! Way ahead of you! Jack, Bob. Let's take him down! I gotta ask you something. Once you get yourself answers. Yeah. What then? I mean, what happens next? What are you actually asking? Look, I know you're not exactly thrilled to be in the car. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, no, no. I'm not worried you're gonna run off. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great. When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay, but I got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Mm, pre or post swarm outbreak? Hmm. Pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay. You got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? I have no idea. But I tell you, it'll be no snow. Marcus, we got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar, we'll know soon enough. Okay. But I'll say it again. That mountain was Grub Central. We don't know what's there. Just promise that if you run into something you can't handle, you'll let me know. Appreciate that, but we're doing all right so far. Delta out. Hey, our coordinates are coming up. There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can, I don't know, use Pulse to ping the signal. Worth a try.
Come on, Jack. Use pulse. Jack, pulse. Whoa. There's something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. I'll cover navigation. You know when Marcus said we were heading up north? This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Man, I thought it was cold down by Oscar's village. This is ridiculous. What about your armor's thermal? They're still working, right? Yeah, but my armor doesn't cover my face. My goddamn nose hair is frozen. Thanks for sharing. Skip's holding up well. That's the one positive development here. You know, Oscar used to take me skiff sailing on the salt flats near Halvo Bay. You guys went that far to sail? Yeah. And there was no cod left down there. Nothing. Just ruins. I'm really gonna miss him. I know. Me too. The mine's in the backwoods over there. Let's go find some explosives. Okay, the mine's back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, it should. But that really depends on the type of mining they're engaged in. If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high-pressure water cutters. But given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractive mining. Okay, all right, I got it. down. There's the mine. Marcus, we're here. What do you know about this place? Let's see. Uh, it's an old nethercut mine. Industrial, rare metals. Company got nationalized by the COG right before E-Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. Not this way. What's up with all this clear cutting? For the mine, probably. It's building material. Industrial log is not very right. Whoa, so there is something that's not your area. Hey, I enjoy knowing things. Is that a crime? The mine is blocked. Derailed train. I mean, there's gotta be another way across, right? Let's see. Hang on. Come check this out.
Let's try down here. Okay, looks promising. I take it back. We got more. Take him out. Careful on that ice. Clear they don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Let's try that lift. <laughs> Jack, rip that door.
Good to go. Nice work, Jack. I bet they were from here. You could be right. That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. said it's true. This place got wiped out. Keep your guard up. Here we go. Shit. As expected, but... Shit. I can't believe Lena and Norsko survived this. 
Let's just look around and see if we can find any explosives. Give me a hand, please. Phosphorus to oxygen or water, it ignites. And that is Sabah's problem. Then let's take what's left. <laughs> Jack, do the honors. So, let's go melt some ice, shall we? We're not out of this yet! Check! Protect the fuel! Bingo! We all go with it! Uh, excuse me? Drag out! Oh, 
too much farther. Oh yeah? Well, you might want to tell them that. Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is gonna melt that ice. If you say so. Dell, we got more! We find our way across that bridge then! through that train and get out of here. This was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Oof. Yeah. Like JD. You think he'll ever be himself again? I don't know. I hope so, but... Back this way. Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? It's growing on you, isn't it? Jack's good people. You just filled his small mechanical home with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be. It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. 
Phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Safety first. Our radio tower. Means the lab's not far. Come on. Jack, you good? You sure you don't have to know who you really are. Getting in there, not with those turrets in place. Like that did the trick. Shit. We didn't get all of them. Gotta be another generator somewhere. Ah, oh, shit. We're not getting in there. Not with those turrets in place.
Ready to get some answers? More than ready. Well, one big difference between this place and New Hope. They weren't worried about getting found. No fake shipping depot, no front. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day a uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think Welcome home. Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, uh, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. This way, please. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little garbage care mother. Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Let's get back to that garbage. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. but the remains of an old industrial accident. Del, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh, well. Water under the bridge. shut you down. Why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. 
I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. What the hell? The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered, and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different. Highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, oh shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira, or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mary's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Hey, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, 
when I was inside that snatcher? I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me My grandfather. Who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. We have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? by mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood.
I will make this as painless as possible. Yeah, you better. Alive. What? It, it wasn't really her, except except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think you can hear us. I don't give a shit! Shit! We gotta stop. Look for a way through! But freeze if we don't lift this lockdown. Shit! I think this was Niles! Then slap his hand on that scanner! Put this whole place in a deep freeze right before he bled to death. 
Good fucking riddance. Uh, Del? The matriarch is... gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not... Let's just find lines. Come on. Freeing the matriarch was unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! Tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Every child needs a playmate. Have fun. Yo? I see it, I see it! Uh. Let's take him down! be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. Okay, more locusts are coming. Then hold them off. Hey, Jack, don't take your time on this. Let's get after Niles. Time to go. Oh no. Oh shit! Out. 
Let's go. What the hell is that thing? I got a glimpse inside its head. You don't want to know. Where the hell is Niles? My goodness. Someone seems to have awakened my sires from their long hibernation. I wonder who that could have been. Del, get ready! been done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Look out! Oh my. Back. Go on, you 
Good to go.
things better. But I made them worse. And you're sure what you saw was real? It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next? We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. And speaking of one of a kind, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, Someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. 
or weak. Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Baird. Good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. all the time in the world for this. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Go on what you got, Jack. Figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. Hey, did you hear that Patty guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, ma'am. And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep.
Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. I haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert points. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Runway's through here. here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on then. Let's hop in that Raven and find some satellites. No, Raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in it. Come on! <laughs> All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. 
Dell, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. I'm not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. This thing and find an old rocket. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Shit, they're here. So, how we handle this? Good night. Attic, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. 
Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looks huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Let's work at least. Uh, I'd say we found the rocket hack. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Hey, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Okay. Huh. No virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Paddock, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're sorry. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Vascari with me growing up. Didn't want to seem indifferent. Okay. What now? Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry? Is it then? Jack, bring it over. Finally, something I could try. Come on, you lot. 
All aboard. Okay, Foss, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Oh, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Drop them all. Now, let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that.
about bloody time. So, let's keep looking for those satellites. Now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time, but eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. <laughs> Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Jack, rip that Can door. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Oh shit, we got poppers! Don't let them get too close! Go 
Watch out! Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Mm. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh, man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Come on, let's do this! Should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Who's he to judge? He tried to launch it himself. Okay. Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Let's try this. There, satellite's on the move. Stay clear of that rail, people. It's stuck. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove.
has left the platform. And our satellite's sitting pretty on the nose cone. One down. And let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right, on it. Okay, let's go. Brace yourselves, this might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! There's city cops down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Oh shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that! Got it! Got it! Keep us moving! Doing my best! Shit! Zion! Hey, we got a bastard too! We gotta get off this thing! Well, there's a higher platform to the left. Hang on. Get us there! Help!
Well, that went swimmingly. Uh, no comment. Look for another switch, just like the other one. There. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. Oh, man! I'm hurt! Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what kind of yeah, like, satellites is up there? He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Try this. Guys, our ride's late. Ah, oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the hang of driving it. Those satellites aren't waiting for us. Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There, let's keep up with it. Below us.
You're done. Come on. Let's catch up to the satellites. Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your speed. We'll find your rocket soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Jack, we need some light. Come on. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. That's not the way back across. We want to go down. down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. <sighs> Looks like we're all clear. Okay. So you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not won't matter. Just find a way back up. Over there! Incoming! Oi! What the? 
the hell is that? It's a carrier! And it's not alone! Back up, back up! Spread out! Don't let his boxes in! Just keep firing! Are you kidding me? Putting a rocket together would be so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? You just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. Still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. 
You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. Let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Yeah. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it, either. and over to that turntable. Boz, as a Vasgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes? Nah, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes. Well, they haven't dropped it yet. That's good, right? And we're through. Onto the turntable.
Kohle. Guys, we're getting close. Those are launch towers. And check it out! There's the rocket! Is that... Is that now hit on some kind of train? Then that's how we'll get it back to the hangar. Huh. Our rocket train's facing in the wrong direction. This is why it's called a turn team. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a patrol. Hey, Swarm. Perfect. Ready when you are. <laughs> Train turned around.
Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control. toward the hangar. kidding me.
coming in! Oh! 
I need some help. I got him. All right, Delta. We clear? Clear. <sighs> Here too. Out of my watch. Head your way. Turn on the drill. All right, Jack. It's, um, it's all you. Okay, Paddock. Turning on your drill didn't kill us. And I am very pleased for you all. But we still need help. Check our pump station. And don't forget the water tower. I haven't heard from my engineers there for hours. Yeah, okay. If we get the time. Delta out. I think it's time we got back to the skip. Yeah. All right, Delta. Let's head out. Oh, shit. Just realized. Forgot my sunscreen. Your sunscreen? I burn easily. Ever fight with a sunburn? It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'll radio back to command. Maybe they can arrange for an airdrop or something. See, you kid. But that would actually be very helpful. Paddock say they're doing here. Trying to get their water supply back online. Think we just discovered the problem! Whoa! So let's get in there and clean them out!
take that. in there. You gonna let her out? I mean, she sounds a little crazy, but... All right, come on. Out. There's no one in here. Oh, cute trick. I guess that's how you survived. Cog. Fancy opposi produlion obukit. Luminaino itansila opon. Um, you're welcome. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Paddock, we cleared out the water tower, and we met one of your engineers. She was... colorful. Yes, unfortunately, I know exactly who you met. Colorful is not the word I would use, though it does have a C in it. Well, that just leaves the pump station. Stop by there when you can. Wilco, Delta out.
That must be the pump station. Are we stopping? All right, let's have a look inside. Seems pretty quiet. Could be a good sign. Very bad one. Okay, there's our way in. Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? What? What? and Pong. Robot, Obuki. Wait, robot. I I think he needs Jack's help. Ota, Ota! Robot Obuki! Robot Obuki! Let's keep him back! The mom! It's a move to the Well, not good. Sounds happy. Well, that should do it. Paddock's got his water supply back online. Well, look who it is. Hey, the schnooks are look so. It's on the phone. It's a damani tari mimil take it. Nay, but I don't both want to. I reckon she wants you to take that. Huh. Koi both want to Wow. There's a lady here wired up a surge protector to her cloaking device. That's clever. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay, for Nurninin. Uh, thanks? That lady is an absolute nutter. I think we're done here. What do you say? Back to the skiff? I'll cover driving.
destroyed trucks. Over by that ruin. And it looks like someone's there. Should we stop? See what's going on with these trucks. I don't get it. Where the hell is it? Oh, that's not good. Ninun, Eki! Bonus the carnier! It's no stuck no in Burma Botoki! Okay, I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside. Shit. Guys, we got pods. I don't like this. What the hell's going on? Why aren't they engaged? Come on, let's get inside. Jack, rip that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh yeah, I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come, hunters! Okay, let's see what you got. This must be how they hit the Nomad. Pour them in and then take them out. Get inside and see what we can find. Looks like the Nomad's comm center. Maybe we want it back for them. Maybe they won't mind the boss's lives. What's this? There, just found something. Looks like old UIR radio tech. You want it? No, you want it. Find two more and you'll be able to boost Jack's hijack ability. Would have done it myself, but, you know, we were a little short on time. Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye out. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. Hi. 
Fanatic. We're leaving a city ruin. Your people got hit pretty hard here. Ah, one of my scavenger crews. And two others are still missing. If we come across them, we'll try to help. I would very much appreciate that. Here's a question I've always wanted to ask. When you two went AWOL, did you miss me? Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Absolutely not. Kate, did either of these two talk about the handsome bloke they trained with? Uh, well, they did mention this one arrogant, brutal asshole. Hey, did you know that guy too? No, but he sounds like a top bloke, honestly. <laughs> it's okay, I know you guys miss me. Jen's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Son of a tool shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> Heard no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple. And the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Thanks in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. There's our security terminal. Just need to wait for Jack to access it. Jack, pulse! Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The center fuse building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way.
Facilities activating, Delta. Same for you, Jack, do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the same. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a Condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Jack, can you get this open? Trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. Space suits? How bad it was the UIR space program? All the exits are blocked, now what?
Jack, activate that crate. Well, that didn't work. And then we try another one. Jack, crank. <laughs> Let's hope this one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again. Get in there, Jack. Mm -hmm. DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who is. Oh shit, Mora. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah. How do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. That knackered thing still works. Bye. 
Oh, it's not slowing down. Boy, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency brake? Well, there's some controls in base.
not. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird. Beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Afira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll uh, carry it to the skiff. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You can help us. Get the other side. Either way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <laughs> we got storm, people! Get behind those sand blast things! They're called Bulgarite!
Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. the other side. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it injured my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. OK, big fella. Let's get you aboard. So our pilots blue man's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. And it seemed pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. 
so by the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, boss. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Something, but the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Anfield's just ahead. Mark the skip as close as you can. That thing's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. That thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. You should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Bear's going back to New Afira with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly something. Oh, no. Did you crash your basic training? Oh, I had a slight missing. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Hey, hey, Bear. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here. Swarm coming in. Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it. Delta, come on. Shot trap. Shield. Ah, 
test! On the very first test, too! Oh, wait! You never tested it? Children, more 
bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. Smoke up ahead. Shit. Yeah, it's a convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. Haddock, mate. You hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. I swear. If we have to save these nomad skins one more time... Hey, give them a break. They've been fighting out here alone for months. Uh. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for that. Sure. But if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. I'm on.
I'll skip back to the hangar. Let's put that rocket together. You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. You can understand why he never lost his rocket. favorite rock. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. We could have hidden half a city in here. Don't envy whoever had to build it. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place.
Dell, you're good.
Right, rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Can means I... we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. Okay, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. Successfully raised. Paddock, need some spot translation. Wait a minute. You initiated launch? Uh, maybe? Then get the hell out of there now! Go, go, go! Guys, down here! Gotta be careful. 
It's winding up! Down! Shit! Shoot the dog! So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, 
we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. The Swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we fight? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Older Fira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! God damn it! They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <gasps> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back for Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. First, help me plant this beacon down the street. Bed, Sarah's got rolling out with our beacon. See you on the other side, Delta. Good luck! Berg, where am I going? Panic, get your beacon to the Tomb of the Unknown. Violet, take us to him, wherever that is. Heads up, we got carriers! Delta, help my squad clear the area. You got it, Carmine. God damn it, they're right on us! Beacon deployed! Berg, how long till I can fire this thing? Give it a few seconds to calibrate. Yeah, what if we don't have a few seconds? Shit! The damn progress bar stuck at 83%. Right on, stuck it! Okay, now! Fire! 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 Well, the new hammer works. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but only around that beacon. We need to plant the other four. All right. EBA straight ahead. Go, Delta. We'll guard this one. Shit. Dead end here. It's just through that building. Don't worry, Delta. I got time for an assist before I run my blade. Get up on that car, Delta. Let's get through this mess. Baird, Echo Squad, Catland. Our Raven's taking fire. Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot of heat signatures incoming. Gah! All this responsibility is why I left the army.
Hanger, we can't plant the beacon! Look out! Ward it! Throwing frag! Is clear. Dead. The cops took down our raven. We have wounded the KIA. We need help. Now! Ah, oh, shit. Copy that, Paddock. Delta, Paddock needs back up at the tomb. We heard. We're on our way. That smoke's where Paddock went down. He 
three here. Uh, Sierra Squad's deployed its beacon. We're under a lot of fire here. How soon can you get a satellite overhead? One's heading your way now, Sierra. Don't suppose it has a turbo mode? No, but that's not a bad idea. Iris, make a note. I already made a note, Damon. Looks like we're going down. <laughs> That explains the water we took down.
I don't see a way through. Ideas? Okay, that'll work. Hey, the lift's call button. Have Jack's out. Jack, shut that lift. Right. There, a way through. Come on. There's the tomb of... Holy shit. Delta, I can't take over the hammer network until all five beacons are planted. Paddock is the last one. We're on our way to him now. It's the beacon you gotta focus on. Everything else is secondary, and Paddock would agree. Understood. Come on, let's get in there. Many Gorosnils have you. Let me show you what you've been missing. Come 
Hands! And the bastard! I've had worse days. Our beacons called it the Raven Range. Maybe your toaster can get it down. Get Jack to retrieve the beacon. Jack, secure mm -hmm. Echo's beacon. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Now to plant it. <laughs> I got it. Mm hmm. I've been 
looks, right? Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, and if I die, it wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Paddock. Let's go, Delta. Delta, could really use an update here. How close are you to planning that thing? We're almost there, Baird. Okay. We gotta put this thing exactly where Baird needs it. You squandered it! 
alive or dead, you belong to us. Fuck 
Look, JD, I need you to keep it together. It's not gonna help anyone if you get yourself killed. I'm fine, Kate. Okay, I'm fine. Marcus, we see your smoke. We're almost there. Roger that! Just hurry! Another beacon! Bet! A beacon sound! Then call it, kid! Walk back to the wall! Shit! How about you roll over? You lot need a ride. 
Hey, Del, look who's saving who. Again.
Everyone back in! We're ready to go!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. <laughs>